All right, a very warm welcome viewers. This is Rizwan Mushtaq. This session is all about Master of Science in Power Engineering. If you are wondering with questions like whether I would be able to get a part-time job there, whether I would be able to support myself during my studies, what are the research opportunities available to me, what is the future of MSPE graduate, we will find answer to all of these questions with one of the successful stories of MSPE program. It's all my player. Mr. Rahul will join me. Mr. Rahul completed his bachelor's from India, came to Germany. He studied this MSPE program from Technical University Munich and now he is working as a full-time employee at one of the best companies in Germany, Infineon. So before wasting any further time, let's start a chat with Mr. Rahul. So one of the advantages of studying in the best university in Germany is you don't have to worry about industry collaboration. Okay. The industry comes to you. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of uh, opportunities in mm -hmm. the two universities itself. There are a lot of fairs. So mm -hmm. the, this, this structure is a bit, little bit di different from the US or the Indian structure where okay. we have to say there are uh, you, the company takes you or recruits you here mm -hmm. the condition is there are a lot of job fairs okay. so for example a very well known is icom mm -hmm. i think you also know yeah. it is so icom happens twice in a year one in summer and one is in winter mm -hmm. so a lot of industries come to the stum campus mm -hmm. and then you have a lot of opportunities to say to research full time job part time job internship mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and as an outsider, as a foreigner, I do not know a lot of companies. Mm -hmm. So this ICOM is a very good opportunity that you can go and see a lot of companies which are there, which you didn't even know. Okay. So, and it, the TUM is not just first hire companies. They also support a lot of startups. Yeah. Uh, there's this TUM entrepreneurship yeah. where their support, they fund a lot of projects. You can yeah. work for a lot of startups. A yeah. uh, very good thing is Munich, uh, uh, is uh, very liberal in kind of uh, languages so yeah. yes there a lot of people ask me German is required or not yes it is it is important but it's mm -hmm. not a must mm -hmm. it's very good if you learn it mm -hmm. but you can also work or do your con conduct yourself in mm -hmm. English and you can uh, brush up on your German or learn German during the course as a side subject which yeah. also helps you yeah so you mean German is not uh, mandatory but it helps you it helps yeah. you a lot because uh, if you see a lot of companies like for my company, Infineon, the working language is English. But yeah. if you want to go into BMW, if mm -hmm. you want to go into Audi, Volkswagen, then yeah. the German becomes a must. So you can survive without German language. Yes, you can. This you is can. the point. <laughs> so uh, one thing good I would explore is uh, Germany, especially in Germany, what I like about it is that you don't have to do a job, say mini jobs. So s example, a job at a McDonald's mm -hmm. or to 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 sufficient yourself uh, yeah. for the money. You can work in companies like BMW, Infineon, mm -hmm. Volkswagen, Audi as a work student. So the technicality, technicality of the work will not be so high, but yeah. you can enter that company, you can see the work culture there, you can learn a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm do an internship there, do a master thesis there and then getting a job becomes very easy in that company because if you are affiliated with that company for a long time then yeah. it's 80 percent of the chance they take you yeah. so that's a good way as you said the yeah. demand i would say so that's a good way to uh, uh, go inside the job market is work student first it is very easy to get a job as a work student yeah. you don't require a lot of skill sets mm -hmm. and then if you stick there do your internship and thesis you will find a lot of topics related to your field and then I think it becomes very easy. Okay, as mentioned by Rahul that there are a lot of opportunities for students uh, to do their uh, work student and so that they can support themselves during the studies and also they will get a real-time experience. Well, I would uh, use a very German word which is it depends. <laughs> so yeah. uh, what I uh, say I experience is for the first six months in this course you develop or you, s you think what do you want to do. Yeah. Especially in in my course which is a very broad you can go into mechanical uh, electrical yeah. power wind thermodynamics so exactly. a lot of my experienced seniors so they have gone into BMW and they are doing something modeling with thermodynamics yeah. and heat energy up on the engine then there is completely different some are go going in Intel for working on communication power devices because see power you need power from smallest to the biggest biggest devices right so yeah. so there's a vast variety you can uh, do it 
So the scope uh, of graduates is really big, I would mm -hmm. say. Uh, one thing is the, I would say the application process is a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. So you need to wait, you need to have a lot of patience when you apply, uh, apply say on a website, so you go to Rodin Schwarz or Infineon, you apply, then you have to wait for a month to get a reply. Yep. There can be a lot of rejections, but Munich uh, is a city which is very, very well uh, connected with industrial uh, companies. Exactly. As also as MNCs, mm -hmm. US based companies, German based, mm -hmm. Scandinavian based companies. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of opportunities, you just mm -hmm. need to keep searching yeah. and you need to do what you want. You, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, if you want to go in power electronics, stick with that and there would be companies for that. Okay. So you don't need to change your field or you don't need to compromise. So you get a, spe you decide what you want to do a specific and there are a lot of opportunities for you. Yeah, exactly. The opportunities rises when you, when you know German, mm -hmm. at least be one then you can uh, the the job market becomes broad for you mm -hmm. but again it's not a must you if you know english you can still find a job sure okay so as we have discussed uh, there are multiple options for all those who are graduating here and who are coming here for uh, for studying uh, at mspe it's power so it's a bit of electrical and a bit of mechanical so uh, as i said it's electrical and mechanical so the course is structured for electrical engineers as well as uh, mechanical engineers who have done their bachelors uh, in this respective field but it can also be pursued by industrial engineers or process integration engineers uh, this course is structured such that it has uh, it's a typical 120 credits uh, uh, course which is normally in germany yeah. and with uh, a set of core modules which consist of some laboratories and seminars 70 credits and then mm -hmm. you have a mandatory internship uh, and a thesis which comprises of 50 credits and you also have to do some interdisciplinary subjects which are not related to your field mm -hmm. so for example you can pursue a management subject or German so that's how basically it's structured okay uh, according to my experience uh, as I'm, I have done my bachelor's in electrical mm -hmm. I think the course is little bit inclined towards electrical engineers okay. uh, because a lot of my mechanical engineers friends have done their bachelors in that mm -hmm. have faced a little bit difficulty as an electrical engineers mm -hmm. but over the less uh, I, it's just a little bit inclination but uh, it's it's uh, it's properly well balanced and they are improving it year by year by mm -hmm. getting us feedback so I think it's well balanced now this program is basically aimed as uh, I don't know if you know or not but Germany is gonna go nuclear free uh, by the year of 2022 okay. so there are a lot of projects on renewables, integration of renewables, developing smart grids across this German uh, German countries. Mm -hmm. So this, I would I would say, uh, this course power engineering has a lot of uh, potential in terms of that, okay. and uh, not also that, but uh, the research topics uh, are also just not related to this power. We can mm -hmm. go into power electronics where mm -hmm. you have the control of motor motor drives, mm -hmm. uh, or you can go to say mechanical engineer where you have thermodynam thermodynamics mm -hmm. uh, topics of thermodynamics related. You can go to the wind energy where you have okay. development or more efficient of turbines mm -hmm. uh, wind energy but if you see the overall it's basically development of smart grid making it more efficient making mm -hmm. the devices more efficient mm -hmm. you can go to nano electronics where okay. they have uh, research on wearable devices mm -hmm. foldable foldable electronic mm -hmm. devices okay. wireless wireless uh, i think we already have wireless ch chargers but to make it more efficient mm -hmm. so that's what basically the research is towards a lot okay. of research is also as i told being going energy efficient so mm -hmm. a system modeling of energies or modeling of energy applications mm -hmm. simulations mm -hmm. so this is this is kind of a bit core but you can always go on the website there are a lot of chairs available okay and uh, you can go inside and see which research topics they are doing okay you mean it uh, it's ranged from like nano electronics to like major exactly thermal, yes it's uh, a very very yeah. big field yeah very big field and lot of research areas yes. are available yes. for for students so found it like a 3 idiot kind of feeling okay <laughs> because if you see in the movie it's this tu9 universities are very similar to that there is no attendance mm -hmm. there is not a specific set of coursework that you have to do this subject yeah. you have to i would say think what do you what do you like rather than 
people telling you oh you should do this i got a lot of cultural view of the germany because uh, i was in tum but not just studies i also participated in a lot of international programs so mm -hmm. there's this called tum e this is tum mm -hmm. for international okay well they host a lot of events for students maybe parties day trips going mm -hmm. to say different countries berlin or getting good hiking and so on so mm -hmm. I, i met a lot of friends during this okay and it's also helped me to understand the german culture or the german mm -hmm. understanding a lot and i enjoyed mm -hmm. a lot so my two and a half year was like rather fruitful so i mm -hmm. focused more on my you say uh, non study life rather than the study life uh, well message uh, i would say everybody uh, are in some situation where they find themselves very tough uh, you think you do not have a choice but just remember you always have a choice mm -hmm. whatever situation demands just follow what your heart says and the rest should follow just think what your heart says and then rest should follow i live by the principle of carpe diem uh, it's a latin word which means seize the day or enjoy the present okay. and think a little about future not much mm -hmm. a little about future okay. and this world is a small place uh, and it's a small world help each other be helpful a small help can go a long way so exactly. that's that's what that's what i would uh, recommend your viewers and to everybody